Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at saving patterns in Illustrator and the reason why we're doing this is because this can be fraught with difficulty and the last thing you want to happen is to lose the patterns that you have made. In addition, if you've come from Photoshop, things are very, very different in Illustrator and you need to know the differences. So I have a document here that I have made a pattern in and the pattern is here in the swatches panel. I just created this pattern a few minutes ago. Now I've gone ahead and saved the file and that's critical because if I hadn't saved this file and I just closed it, I would permanently lose that pattern. There's no way of getting it back. It's in the swatches panel of this particular file, but if I go and create a new file, you'll see that it's not in the swatches panel for any new file. You can see here it's missing. Now that's very different to Photoshop. That's why you need to be super aware of this. So now let's go and save this particular pattern and the way we're going to do it is with the swatches panel open. You can get to that by choosing window and then swatches. You're going to the fly out menu here and you get two options for saving swatches. You can save your swatch library as an ASE file or as an AI file. Now you really don't have a choice right now, even though it looks like you do, because if you save it as an ASE file, your pattern is not going to be saved. The colors in this particular file will be saved, but the pattern itself will not. So your only choice is to save your swatch library as an AI file. So I'm going to click on that here now and you'll be taken automatically to wherever it is that your version of Illustrator is storing its swatches. Now I've already saved this before as dotted circle pattern. You'll see that it comes up with the name of the file that you have. So I'm actually going to call this dotted circle pattern v2 and I'll just click save and it's now saved in the swatches. So that means that in any document in future, if we want access to that pattern, what we're going to do is go to the swatches panel in that particular document, open the fly out menu and go down here to open swatch library. And then we're going to go all the way down here to user defined. And over here are our defined patterns and here is our dotted circle pattern V2. Now the really handy part about Illustrator is that we don't have to close and reopen Illustrator to find these pattern files. Illustrator can find them even though we just saved it a couple of seconds ago. So let's just click on it and that opens up the pattern file or the patterns in that file or the swatches from it in a little dialogue here. And what I need to do is to just click on it and you'll see it's added to the swatches for this particular document. So I can close this down and now I'm free to use that pattern in this new document. So it's all accessible to us. So you need to not only as safety just save your pattern file anyway, but to make it accessible in future, you need to save it using this option through the swatches panel to save it as an external file. But right now you might be thinking, you know what, if I make every pattern one at a time, then I'm going to end up with a whole lot of pattern files. And you're right, you're going to end up with a whole lot of pattern files. So if you want to actually add a pattern like this one here to another file, the process is going to be different. So let's just go ahead, I'm just going to trash that document that we were working with. What you're going to do is you're going to create a brand new document. So you choose file new and just create any old document. It doesn't matter what it is. What we're going to do is we're going to empty out the swatches panel for this document because what we want to do is just put in the swatches from the file that we want to add our new pattern to. So what we're going to do is click on the first of these colors, shift click on the last and just click the trash can. Now you can never delete none or the registration, but you can delete everything else. So now we've got an empty swatches panel in a file that we don't care about. That's the important bit because otherwise this file would lose all its swatches. Thank you, Illustrator. Okay, so now we're gonna go and get our pattern file that we want to add this dotted circle pattern to. So I'm gonna do the drop down list here, open swatch library, go down to user defined and I've got a pattern here called dots and flowers, a swatches file called dots and files. So I'm just going to open it and this is what it contains. So I'm going to grab everything from here and just add it to my swatches list here. 
So these are all the swatches from that particular file. So what I need to do is to add my dotted circle pattern. Well, the simplest way of doing that, let me just move this shape out of the way. The simplest way of getting a pattern from one document to the other is to use it. So I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool. It could be a circle, could be anything. We're going to make sure it's filled with this pattern and then we're going to copy it with edit copy. We're going to our new document and we're just going to do edit paste and watch over here in the swatches panel. You can see that that pattern is added as a pattern to the swatches and if I press delete, I'm deleting the rectangle that I don't need but the pattern is being left intact. So that's the way that we do that. So back here in this document, I can just clean things up if I want to. I just wanted to show you that that's how it's going to work. So now we have a document over here that's got in its swatches panel only the swatches that we want to save all of the original ones plus our new one. So what we're going to do is go to the flyout menu and we're going to save Swatch Library as AI. We're going back into the location where our patterns were stored and we want to put it back into Dots and Flowers because this was Dots and Flowers and it's just got an added pattern to it. So we want to put it back where it came from. So I'm clicking Dots and Flowers to indicate that this is where I want my existing patterns for that file plus the new one to be saved to click save. Illustrator's going it already exists. Well, we know it already exists because we used it and we're just going to replace it with, so we're going to click yes. Now let's go and prove to ourselves that this worked. I'm just closing that file. Let's go and create a brand new file. Doesn't matter what it is. Let's go to the flyout menu, open swatch library, user defined. We're going to dots and flowers and here are the dots and flowers patterns, the ones that were originally in that file plus our new one which is the one that we just created. So all of these are accessible to us through this panel, but as we click on them to use them, they'll be automatically added, of course, to the swatches in this particular file. So everything is going to be accessible to us. So you've learned two processes, one which is just saving a single pattern into a file and the second one which I think is pretty important is actually building up a file of patterns. So how do you add a pattern that you've created to an existing pattern file and that's how you can do it. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.